Welcome back. Uh, it's always been a while since we've done this. I tend not to play this game every day in a row, but um, we always can come back to it, and it's always good fun when we do. So uh, we'll continue playing 10-Minute Shogi Wars and see how long it takes us to rank up to a Wandan. So let's uh, get started. Here we go. I know the website does make mention that there are coaches available. Uh, there are real shogi professionals willing to play uh, games. I just, before this stream, had witnessed a game, a handicap game, that one of the coaches had offered. Uh, and it was amazing. It came down to a time scramble. Good luck. Um, let me turn down the volume just a touch. All right. And we're going to continue with our central fall rook. And recently, uh, it's come to my attention how important or valuable it can be to uh, bring this silver up as this defends our vanguard pawn. And then we want to tuck the king away in our castle. So I had interrupted my earlier speech. I was saying how um, it, it was interesting to watch a professional give a handicap game. Even more impressive that uh, the handicap receiver had actually won the game. Um, I have not seen that before. In general, it's tremendously difficult to defeat a pro, although depending on the handicap, perhaps that varies. Um, so, our opponent is playing a pretty solid defense, at least to me it looks that way. Um... I'm trying to keep my shape flexible. Um, our opponent has deliberately avoided stepping into that. Okay, let's try to expand the re reach of my bishop here. Um, all right, I'm going to attack. My attack is slightly unorthodox, I think. But I think it makes sense. So our opponent's confused, like this Urashino opening, where the center becomes open. Oh wow. They've confused that with whatever it is we're currently playing. Um, all right. I call your bluff. I control the center. Anakin, I have the high ground. <laughs> uh, man, I so want to start sacrificing everything and deliver mate. Um, that might not be feasible. That's kind of where my mind is at the moment. So, this pawn is in my way. Let's move it. Okay.
Interesting. Nanafun. I want to start an attack with a lighter piece than my gold general, but I don't see how... Oh. Okay. Wow, this is going places. Um. Alright. I mean, I'm kind of bluffing because I don't completely know what I'm doing. But... Um, I am impressed somehow by what I've done. So I keep trying to apply more and more pressure to their position. I have split their castle completely apart. And I don't know what to do next. Um... I wish I had more pieces I could readily... Maybe I should have pushed this pawn at some point. I mean, this is still an opportunity. We can still push it right now. And my thought is that when I do land a bishop on 5-5, five five, it could strike both corners of the board. Um, this is not ideal. But whatever, we'll roll with it. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, also, I can do it, drop a bishop and hit two rooks at once. I mean, I know my gold general is hanging back here. But their king is wide open. Um, Go from. And their generals are distant from their king. So I'm threatening a silver drop on the king's head, which is check. Oh, it's not checkmate. That is not checkmate. I did get a rook. That's not bad. Um, yeah, no what's checkmate, no what's not checkmate. Alright, we gotta win this game all over again. Um, it's fine. That's like the one move they shouldn't do there, I think. It brings my pawn a square closer, where my pawn has more influence. Um, I want to get this rook down somewhere. If this convinces them to block with a bishop, then I can run away and promote. Otherwise, I'm attacking their gold general.
Oh, I can't drop so many different places. Um, hmm. Let's exchange pawns. So now I can take either the pawn on the left or on the right. They'd have to place a bishop here to defend both. This is really the one I wanted anyway. I'm threatening uh, checkmate. Yeah, this gold drop on the back rank was too heavy. It was misguided. That's my mistake. Man, this is going to go on for a while if I can't figure out how to checkmate him. Hopefully I can find a checkmate soon. Yeah, that's a pretty strong defensive move. Gold generals tend to be good defensive pieces. I approach your castle. Mm -hmm. I'm aware. I'm... Oh, this king is going to run up the board. Gosh darn it, what do I do about this? Can't let this king continue running forever. Um... I need to get better at this checkmating thing. I really do. This gold general should have been my target a second ago. Um... Nifun. 
so my horse and my rook strike the square simultaneously. Thanks for the game. Oh, that was intense. Let's play another game. Gosh, I'm rusty. Um, yeah. So I misread a mate last game. Good luck. Alright, we get to play Gota here. Let's take our Vanguard Pawn. Okay, let's also get our king tucked away safely. Now pushing this silver up is a bit risky because it allows a bishop drop if my king can't make it over quickly enough. Oh crap. Uh, I just sacrificed the pawn again. There's... Um, hmm. I did not intend to sacrifice this. Whoops. Um, right, my king has... or my rook has to run away right now. Otherwise it gets trapped. And now we get the king safely into the castle. Magically. Um, now the bishop's head is weak. So, yeah, I messed up. Um, I forget if this is the move here. It would be very good. Oh wait, I can actually block the silver. Um, man, this is not going my way. Let's get the king safer. But yeah, probably I've walked into some sort of opening trap unwittingly. Um, so I need to play very carefully. Eventually this pawn move might help my king escape if I need to. Um... Hmm, mm -mm. so I think I need to block this diagonal here. This creates weaknesses in the center of the board. Um, well, that's... I don't understand where we are now. Um... They have a pawn in hand, which gives them flexibility to do a lot of things. But, um... Eventually they'll have to pick a plan. They can't just keep... We keep delaying one more move, one more move to see what our opponent's going to do. And they're returning the favor. Eventually, one of us will do something decisive here. And just hoping that we can get a reasonable game. If the silver advances, I could drop a pawn and force it to retreat. But I don't want to drop the pawn if I don't have to. Like, what's the benefit of dropping such a pawn here? Um, Okay, so I've been thinking about that. I've been concerned about it because my gold prevents my rook from advancing easily. Um, so what now? I think I do play this, even though I've been putting off playing it. And I've been delaying this bishop retreat 
in the hope that some better move becomes possible. Um, well, that, that looks reasonable. They could have held off on that one more move, and it would have been twice as effective, I think. Um, oh, shnikes. That's a misslip. That's a slip of my cursor. Okay, well, that's uh, intriguing. How am I going to play this now? Uh, yeah, I have tend to put that on 5-6. Well. Okay, I have just asked for a fight. That's great. <laughs> uh, what to do? Alright. Yeah, this pawn was one square further up than I intended. It's perhaps not bad, but... <laughs> Maybe this is a better move than what I was thinking about. I kind of like it. Maybe it's equivalent. But that, that caught me off guard, my own move. Um, on the other hand, like if something takes it, my knight can obviously strike at the target. So there's some advantage to it. Uh Huh. Interesting. So despite playing central file rook, I've lost the central file. Oops. But I did get to sack my pawn in an interesting way. Um, it appears that a bishop exchange is not forthcoming, so let's put the rook on a better file. Obviously they'll commit a pawn. Oh. I was certain they were going to place a pawn somewhere. I was so convinced. Um, hmm. Interesting. I mean, now are you going to put a pawn somewhere? I think the answer's still no, but if they put it down earlier, they could have stopped my rook from moving this far up the board. On the other hand, my rook is in a precarious spot, but it takes them two moves for their gold to hit my rook. And in two moves, I can hit this silver and try to threaten other stuff. I think I've overextended, but that position was sad anyway, and I expected this kind of reaction. Um, no, I just drop back here. And we build, uh, Ishida formation. My silver in the corner is still very sad, and desperately wants to move somewhere. But I had to play this earlier, otherwise I'd be losing all my pieces in the corner. Um... Okay. That's a good move. That's a very good move. Wow. Well, that stings. So... Yeah, I've got to get out of this box where all my pieces are trapped and can't move anywhere. Um, Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, this is not where I wanted to put a pawn, but... Yeah, now my position's just very sad. But, um, it'll take a while for them to make an attack somewhere. Well, it took them one move to come up with an attack. Um, impressive. Go for me. Uh, yeah, gotta go back. I wanted to build the Ishida formation, but this, uh, ba this silver, um, bishop battery would trap my rook if I were to build it. So, yeah, now I'm just stuck lingering, wallowing in my own position until such time that I can find a way to escape this mess that I've created. Um. Hmm. Says two points. One, that if somehow, like... I lose the... yeah. Okay. I don't have time to comment. I have no time for commentary. I just need to move. And keep moving. But yeah. I expected that. Uh, I thought I could move my knight up. My knight cannot, in fact, move there. Without losing my silver. So... Alright, we are down a knight. And our position collapses. Um, let's do some kind of an attack. Right. Um I don't have a lot of options here. Every move counts. So I'm attacking as aggressively as I can, given my extremely sad position. Um... I could have placed that on my back rank, but I thought I need to attack here. Um, curiously, my attack has not completely failed. Oops. 
right? They keep doing all these things against my rook, and I'm not sure that it actually has anywhere near the impact that they hope. Um. Oh, that's checkmate. All right, nicely played. I did not look at my opponent's hand because I was so concerned about the time situation. I should have known that my opponent had a general in hand. All right, thanks for the game, though. That was a good game. Good luck. Interesting. Uh, I think this is playable. Interesting. Um, well, you got my curiosity. I need to know. Show me what's up here. Curiosity killed the cat, but, you know, it was, it was too interesting. I couldn't resist. This looks extremely dangerous, but maybe it's not so bad. So my thinking is that this pawn over here is loose because they've not protected that yet. Okay, now they have. So we can take some time and calm things down a little bit. Uh, so let's exchange these bishops here. and then protect our extra pawn asset. So we've stolen a pawn in broad daylight. Um, and they've taken some time to solidify their castle, so it's a fair trade. But, um, I want to be careful if I'm going to do something like that. Um, I mean, I think it's okay. Yeah, I'm still willing to continue exchanging pieces here, sure. I think I'm asking for trouble by offering all these exchanges. But I'm too curious. Eventually, curiosity will... Yeah. I could have seen that coming. I did see it, but one move too late. Um... So what do I do now? Now that I've given up this position, what do we do? Uh, I think I have to protect this pawn, because otherwise the rest of this position collapses. Um, so I'm stuck making this unpleasant move.
I'd be astounded if they exchanged bishops there. Um, yes, let's just continue building some kind of a castle and pretend that everything's okay. And if we pretend hard enough, maybe our opponent might believe it too. Um... Okay, I'm willing to allow them to take some time to go into my corner and chase down my lance. Meanwhile, I'll try to activate my pieces. If they are dead set on capturing the lance, they can have it. Um... If they want my rook, they can have it. I can negotiate. If you want something, it's yours. How much do you want it? There's a good and a bad side to any um, transaction we can make here. And yeah, this horse in the center of the board is kind of an angel overseeing everything. Um, now I'm going to have a bishop in hand, which I can use to attack with. So, it's okay. Um... Does this rook have anywhere to go? If oh, okay, how crazy do we get? Nanafun. No, they've actually wait. I hope I'm not misreading this. That's a really unusual bishop drop. How often? How often do you have two bishops? They're both pinned to the king. But it prevents the rook from promoting immediately. Where this is somewhat concerning is if they drop the silver in the corner. And then my bishop has to run away and itself threatens to promote. Um, this gets complicated. But I think it's... I think it's fine, because as I threaten the horse, or the, the knight, if they do something about the knight, then I can shift my gold over to attack the silver, and also hit the rook, and then they can promote the rook and I get a free silver. I think that's an okay exchange. See, I think they have one material, but... I've... Oh, welcome, everyone. Um, thank you to Marianashi and their party of four. You've come just in time to witness me playing my third Shogi Wars game this morning. And I keep losing material over and over in this opening, but it's okay, because I am getting active pieces. So... Hopefully you all enjoy Shogi. Alright. So now they're threatening this silver drop uh, without material loss. So I defend against the silver drop. And they're going to probably exchange the rook for the bishop. So I get my rook back. Now I'm threatening a rook drop, but they have all the rook drops currently protected. Um... I seem to have protected against every possible bishop drop. So maybe I should actually complete my castle. Uh, put my silver up and call it um, Half Mino Castle. But yeah, I don't know where my rook's going to go eventually.
It's been a confusing opening for both of us. My bishop is still sad. I would like to activate it. Maybe that's higher priority than defending my king at this point. Um... Retreating is sad, but seems... Wait, no, then they drop a silver, so it's not effective to retreat. Um... All right, so I've defended my gold general. No doubt they'll try to come up with some way to drop their silver to make this position more complicated. And I keep trying to... They need to play aggressively because I am going to eventually build my castle. I am eventually going to get my bishop moved somewhere useful. So this is their best opportunity to attack. Um, but I think I have everything covered. Ah, he's only 2Q so I can destroy him? that how it works? 2Q players aren't allowed to play good moves. Okay, thanks for the reminder. Yeah, at chess tournament scenes, you'll see an occasional upset where one player takes uh, their opponent's rating or skill for granted. But yeah, for somebody who plays online, these ratings do frequently update. They're pretty accurate. Note that my own ranking is 1Q, which the difference between 2 and 1 is 1. So I'm not so super confident that I can beat him, but I am confident enough that like, if I think I've got something defended, I probably do. I've probably seen in slightly more detail than my opponent's seen some things. Okay, that is a misclick, or they forgot that I have a knight. Um, either way, I profit. I have to take it now. Okay. Yeah. Last game I misclicked one of my pawns. Um, I had a really cool pawn to Suji because I misclicked. Um, and perhaps it was fine. Perhaps it didn't affect anything. But I'm still amused by it. Alright. Um, here, let's defend my knight. Why defend the knight, you ask? Hang on. We'll get there. We will so get there. Alright. Um, yeah, this looks interesting. So we have a rook bishop pin. Leave it to the crazy chess players to come up with tactics like these. Oh, okay. Thank god I remember to defend my own rook. That could have been embarrassing. Um, hmm. I was certain that they wouldn't do this because of how dangerous this pin could be. Go um, for So yeah, defending my knight also covers the square. My king is more than a bit safer than their king is. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's exchange everything. Let's 
What could possibly happen here? Hmm. I hope they're good at defending in time pressure. Because I've got four pieces in hand. And this doesn't look super easy to defend. Now, I could question, and I should question my most recent move, but I'm too caught up in this excitement. Like, really, this gold was my target. I was just concerned that my rook in the corner might not be useful, so I made it useless. <laughs> That's super logical thinking on my part, right? Uh, would you care to exchange pieces? Surprisingly, no. All right. Thanks for the game. Yeah, it, it's hard to defend that in time pressure. I'm sure I've collapsed worse than that in my own games, so... That makes our three games for this morning. Whoops, sorry, wrong perspective. Um, so yeah. We've ranked, uh, well, we're gradually ranking up. We made it from 24.1% to 26.2 with two wins this morning, one loss. Um, not bad this morning. But yeah, um, we'll continue trying to work toward one Don. Um, I'm trying to remember, I think it was last year, Transport PKMN had recommended that I try playing on the site. It's been fun. Um, initially, I did it just for, I don't know, some kind of amusement uh, that it's even possible for me to play with the English pieces on the site. But more recently, I've got some appreciation that 10-minute uh, shogi uh, can be pretty crazy and chaotic. And so, um, yeah, this has been kind of a fun little expedition. I need more confidence. I don't know. In chess, I've had confidence in spades at times, and it's not suited me well in cases where I've had the wrong outcome. I think it's okay for me. But I'll have to... I think I need more skill. Confidence is one thing, but competence is probably where I need to focus next. But yeah, hopefully we've all enjoyed these three games this morning. Um, yeah, thanks again for our audience for showing up today. It's been good fun. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I need confidence. So yeah, glad we enjoyed this, uh, session together and we'll do some more Shogi Wars in the future. Fear not.